I'm here at Sandor Automotive. These guys produce millions of parts for the automotive sector, but also they embrace technology by investing in a new EDM machine with Makino to make sure their shop floor and their punch and dies operate 24-7. Kai, this is a fantastic opportunity to meet you at Zander Automotive. I mean, the weather in Wales is fantastic. Yeah. But tell us a little bit about the group and what you do here. OK, so, so Zander Automotive, we were, we were formed from, from two separate companies uh, about 18 months ago now. Uh, we have a global presence, uh, predominantly injection moulding. Uh, we have five sites in the UK, and then we have sites also in China, uh, Germany uh, and the Czech Republic. Uh, you're in Ponte Dowie in Swansea, uh, with Zander Automotive, the, the Canning Brett plant, where we are metal fixings, pressings, brackets, predominantly for the automotive industry. But we are looking now at obviously taking advantage of the, the current economic climate and, and to look what other options are available in other markets and industries also. Now, I see that the type of uh, products you're actually manufacturing here for the automotive sector, I mean, millions of parts. So therefore, I presume your sort of process of your, your punch and dies are really need to be running 24-7. Yeah, yeah, we've probably got in excess of 200 lines, uh, part numbers, um, between five and seven million parts produced on a monthly basis um, to a wide range of applications. Um, over 70 different customers we supply on a monthly basis as well. So the engineering side of the business, being metal pressings, is, is, is sort of key importance to us really. Um, we have our own tool room on site where we service tools, but we're also looking to develop into making our own tools as well. So the better technology and the better equipment, then the more self-sufficient we'll become and more competitive. And recently you've embraced uh, a new Makino EDM machine, a wire EDM machine from uh, NCMT. Um, and that's not to produce parts, but it's to actually maintain your presses. To, and your yeah, yeah we, we, uh, obviously in partnership with NCMT, uh, we've been looking at a wire machine now for, for a number of months. Um, we made the investment, uh, and not just, as you rightly say, to continue with our own production, but we're also looking to what so that can offer as a sales service to the, to the outer sort of market as well. We do a lot of work with the local universities, a lot of work with other tool makers. Um, so we also made that investment, not to strengthen our business for such a term, but to also try and grow the business in terms of sales as well. And I think that's quite key. I see a lot of companies embracing one sector, but diversifying into others based on obviously investing, and that's obviously what you're doing here. Yeah, yeah, well, traditionally we're an automotive company. Um, you know, we supply all the major OEMs, but we are looking now at you know, what other industries, whether it's construction, medical, uh, white goods, electrical, what other services, industries we can get into uh, and grow our business in that way also. Yuri, you're the production shift manager here now, and this latest investment, this Makino U6 Heat, now this is a bit special, isn't it? Because really you're buying this machine to maintain your processes in punch and die, aren't you? Yeah, that's absolutely right, Mark. Um, what it is, EDM world, we're, we're not new to it. Um, we've, 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 we've currently had an EDM machine on site for nearly 20, over 20 years now. Um, basically, we've been a, a press tool and a die automotive factory. Um, we're, we're producing metal parts. Obviously, there's a lot of wear and tear involved in that. Um, and having a wire machine on site is, is a critical process to our business. Um, the Makino, we, we looked into the market, met up with Scott. Um, it just stood out head and shoulders above ev every other sort of VDM machine that was out there, um, and it seemed the right way to go. And when you look at the processes that you're actually using, or not, I, I didn't realise that the tolerances that you have to meet for some of your punches. Oh, absolutely. When, it, when, you, when you talk in press tools, um, obviously the, some of the press tooling out there from 250 tonnes, accuracy is, is key for us um, so to withhold tolerances um, yeah you're absolutely right it, it is a, it's a major importance in, in what we do out there and when you look at the uh, maintenance options on this machine how does it benefit from other machines that you've had it was one of the main factors that sold the machine to us um, it, it maintain maintaining the machine like this obviously with the, with the older type of machine it's a, it's a lengthy process sometimes the machine has to be down for a good couple of hours just to change the crystals or change wire guides but with the Makino it's just a quick quick release uh, flick flick the tools out and the, the boys are able to
and keep the machine going, you know, and it, it improves performance out there. And not just performance, I would imagine it save, save you actually in, in wire as well, doesn't it? Absolutely, yeah. The, 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 wire, the wire load which this which the machine takes, is, it, we are saving money on that as well, yeah. So really, is this investment not only to make sure that the, your, your processes here for the automotive market is, is run 24-7, but also future-proofing your company longer term? That's it, it's exactly that. This is what we want this machine to be doing. We want this machine running 24-7. Um, it's got to be running punches, dies, keeping the spares out there, keeping production moving outside on the shop floor. Um, that's our main focus. It's, this is what this machine is here to do, is to keep, keep production going as, as much as we can. It's great to see uh, UK companies actually investing you know, in, their, in their processes, but also there's always going to be a learning curve. What's the learning curve in re re reference to the controls? Well, it, modern technology. Um, as I said, the, the, the last machine we've had, we've had it on site for over 20 years. Um, you you get, kind of get stuck in a sort of rut. Um, having a new modern machine on site now, yes, it's had its, it's, had its teething problems, but as I said, it's changed to the, uh, to the operator. Does, but we, we get in there um, and as I said it's a fantastic bit of kit um, the, the, the performance of the machine the, the speed that it can run at is, 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 is as I said it's head and, head and above uh, all the other machines that we've had and, and also the uh, support that you're getting from NCMT how, how's that feature? Oh fantastic as I said to, when we starting off we, we've, we've had them at the end of the phone um, just drop the boys to give the boys a little call and uh, they've talked us through problems and uh, if, if we needed them here they've been here next day so the, the support that we've had from Aquino and NCMT has been uh, spot on to be fair.